Welcome back, my Alpha Squad, to another episode of Cell to Singularity, Evolution Never Ends. We have been gone for quite some time this time, since last episode. As you can see, basically an entire month. And we collected 4.54 quintillion entropy, I believe. I might be wrong and 1.2 trillion thoughts ideas whatever it is let's collect and we can collect the daily bonus and it has been added catch that no one to spend the darwinium let's jump into the evolution tree and see what we can unlock maybe even get some awards like we do in most of the episodes change that to multiply by 10 and we can go first let's empty out all the ideas we have I think anything under a uh, hundred billion should be fine we unlocked an award we'll check that out in just a bit we unlocked two awards how fortunate is that? Let's see. Oh, let's probably read the Atomic Age since we have not seen that before. Humans have split the atom and unleashed a new kind of power on the world. Not the last age, if we're, caref if we're careful. Have you ever seen humans be careful with explosives? Just asking. The Atomic Age. Bogged down. Preserved mummies dating back to the Iron Ages have been found in many bogs throughout the northern Europe. It is thought that these bog bodies may have been human sacrifices. Oh, that's interesting but also terrifying in a sense. The Manhattan Project. Not something I thought we would see in a game, but fine. During the 1950s, Las Vegas, Nevada earned the nickname Atomic City for becoming a hotspot where tourists would gather to watch above-ground nuclear weapons tests taking place in the surrounding desert. That's awesome. We can still unlock a few things. Let's unlock a few hundred something things. And we also get an award. Last one something, and there we go. Now we're out of ideas. How sad. We have. Please, sir, can I have some more? For the better part of six centuries, the Iberian Peninsula, modern day, modern day Spain, and Portugal, was ruled by the Moors, a diverse group that included North Africans, Arabians, and European-born Muslims. Well, at least the group was diverse and not racist, like some of the history around the planet. Let's see, we can do quite a lot on the biological scale. I don't think uh, getting more amino acids matter because we have all the awards with that. So let's get the final world with uh, DNA. Let's see if we. Oh. It went up to QI fast. Let's just get anything that isn't QI, I guess. I don't know. We're getting low quite old, and everything's gone. Well. Okay. A crick in your neck. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Francis Crick, James Watson, and Maurice Wilkins were granted the 1962 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discovery of the double helix model of DNA. 
Scientist Rosalind Franklin, who also contributed to the discovery, did not receive shared credit until 1975. See, that's always the problem with group projects. There's always one guy that's lazy, or one guy that does most of the work and everyone just forgets exists. So sad. Have a heart. See, have a heart. Give everyone credit. Everyone do your equal share in the group project. Lizards have three chambered hearts. In contrast, fish and amphibians' hearts only have two chambers, while mammals' hearts have four chambers. Yeah, it's not the chambers of secrets anymore, just the chambers of hearts. How many of these can we unlock? Actually, quite a few. Turbine. A rotary mechanical device that is used to generate energy. Yet the photo looks like stairs, not the turbine. Weird. The transistor, one of the building blocks of modern electronic devices, transistors can amplify or switch electronic signals. Without them, the internet would not exist, and you guys would not be able to watch great videos like this one. Modern science. The, momental, the monumental discoveries of the 19th and 20th century pave the way for science to progress faster and more dramatically now than in any other period in history. Well, that's probably because of scientific suppression uh, quite a few years ago, but let's not get into that. Integrated circuit. Smaller, cheaper, and faster, we can now improve our improve out technology using tiny chips filled with even smaller transistors to store information. That is improvement. Liquid propellant. Yes, because burning coal inside a rocket sounds like a very great idea. For decades, rockets were powered by gunpowder. Never mind, I was wrong, not coal, gunpowder. Making them heavier and more volatile. Liquid propellant cuts costs and allows the rockets to hold more fuel. Yet rocket fuel or ferrofluid, the original rocket fuel, has been turned into something you can play with. Think about that. We tried to make fuel and we made a toy. Weird. And no, you can't just go buy ferrofluid because it's really expensive. But you can buy ferrofluid toys, which is also quite expensive. <laughs> they react to magnetism. <laughs> Molecular biology. Able to explore on an infinite small level, we discovered the double helix structure of DNA and other secrets of molecular of the molecular world okay that's interesting but how does that add to our evolutionary tree except that now we can see in more detail robotics yet that looks like something you would build out of Lincoln logs for years we've been fascinated by the idea of robots machines built in our image to serve our every desire those dreams are becoming a reality and robots are helping us with everything from working in our factories to helping in our homes. Yet as we've seen with artificial extinction, that can lead to them turning against us and seeking out our very destruction. So we should probably not let them serve all our desires as some of our desires are very selfish. And that will lead to the robots uh, being quite, well, not nice towards us. Tribalism. Humans naturally organize themselves into tribes. Many other animals do this too. But humans bring community organization to a much more complex level. This is true. Due to the, it might be in animals' nature to separate themselves depending on how they look like and depending on the race of the species but we as humans we have been we have evolved to have higher cognitive functions we can think for ourselves we are not animals so we do not need to 
divide depending on race that is not necessary we can we know there isn't biologically only uh, skin pigments that's the only difference but we're all the same so racism is completely un it's it's not necessary since we have higher cognitive function we do not need to act as though we're animals we do not need to separate either way going on quite a tangent there um atomic bomb yes talk about racism and then blowing everything up <laughs> that, that, that's the route i should have gone oh no this video is gonna turn out so bad mankind has attained the ability to destroy itself why why did it why did it was this the order of events no either way atomic bomb when we split the atom we created a weapon beyond anything we've ever known before are we looking towards armageddon if humans keep being divided then there is a chance for that being the case but like i said we have higher cognitive function we do not need to be divided at all because we can think for ourselves and know that being divided is not smart parachute recovery by adding parachutes to rockets we are able to slow their descent to the ground so that they can be used for multiple launches yeah that that uh, reduce reuse recycle so this falls under reuse the computer our society has become intertwined with machines from such humble beginnings now we have built computers vast machines that can be cr programmed to complete any number of tasks who knows where we might go with this we're going to go to the internet age be connected all over the world and hopefully unite as one species plastic by synthesizing organic compounds we are able to create stronger materials and we use them for everything from clothes to packaging to building materials or the squeaky duck that you have in your bathtub next we have nuclear power at the atomic level vast amounts of energy are unleashed by splitting the atom we've learned to harness those reactions for our own means nuclear power might be safe and uh, well safe ish and clean ish but we still run into the problem of there are very devastating risks when something isn't done wrong but it is kind of the future seeing as coal is very very fast at killing our planet v2 rocket some madman has built a rocket to strike at targets 200 miles away give him a few more years and he'll be aiming for the moon isn't that is, is, isn't that what happens television like a radio with pictures because some people forget to use their imagination you know brain pictures or a movie theater in the comfort of your home but going to the movies is fun though even though you shouldn't do that now because of covid but normally going to the movies it's for the experience not the movie itself television allows for the birth of broadcast media and yet now these days it's going out of style because of internet and youtube meaning you should stay and watch more of my videos on youtube instead of going to sit in front of the tv intercontinental ballistic missile these guided missiles were designed to deliver nuclear weapons to their targets hopefully no one ever uses them it depends on how peed off some people get with the higher ups I, that as well. I mean like 
it's all depending on the government's moves so we don't really have that much control over it Sputnik the world's first satellite Sputnik was launched by the USSR in 1957 it orbited the earth for three weeks kick-started the space race between the United States and USSR and taught us new and unpre unprecedented information about the atmosphere of our planet so the Russians were the first ones to have something in space isn't that technically then their victory because they were the first ones to have something up there yet the USA was the first ones to have someone on the moon Either way, competition can be healthy, no need to get too worked up about it. And we can unlock some stuff as I was talking. Selective breeding. As humans learn to breed animals with specific beneficial traits, our conscious manipulation of genetics leads to further domestication. Which is true. We have gone into the very nature of animals and decided which traits we wanted, which traits we didn't want, and now we bred animals into how we wish them to be, not how they were naturally. Whether this is right or wrong is up to everyone's personal opinion, but Farm animals wouldn't have been the way they are now if they weren't bred to be that way. And on that note, I hope you everyone enjoyed this video. Otherwise, maybe next one will be better. But if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you are not a part of the Alpha Squad already, why not? The videos are awesome, the squad is awesome, so subscribe join the discord and join the squad it's a fun squad to be a part of and i'll see everyone next week